Alright, hey guys, what's up? The Mineral Rolls 1234 here with a review. I did an unboxing earlier. I'm gonna post, or I already did post that. Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing my Airsoft M43181. It is by UK Arms, or the version I got did, or is. So, the thing is, I would have used the, the buttstock with the cheek rest and the compartments for BBs. But I don't know how to put it on. If you could tell me in the comments how to put that on, that would be awesome. Anyway, so this comes with one 300 round high cap mag. You can tell by the winding. And another like 20 or 40 round mag. Anyway, they're both metal. The Mainly the whole gun is plastic. It comes with this uh, pretty good, it's okay, I guess, foregrip. It's plastic, and to put it on, let me take it off first. There's a little thing right here. I think I said that in the unboxing. You pull it down, and then you slide it on and let go, and it's there. Now, if you're using the, well, there are two types of handguard things right here, like what I'm holding. One of them is M16. It has no RIS tactical rails. So, but it's big, so you can put the battery inside of it. But if you use the one with RIS tactical rails, you have to get either the peck box or the grenade launcher, which is basically just a shotgun, and use that. Okay, now on to the sights. It's got amazing iron sights. They're this this one's metal, I'm pretty sure, and. This part, the barrel's metal, the inside of this is metal. Uh, basically, it's mainly plastic, upper and lower receiver are plastic. It has, er, this hand guard thing is removable. You can, this is how you turn it into an M4 carbine. You just unscrew these. I'm sorry, it's hard to do backwards. And it comes right off. M4 carbine. I prefer to have it on. That's just my preference. Uh, give me a sec. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. Oh, and I don't want to say anything, brag or anything. Or not brag, but I just turned 13, so. Bought this with my birthday money on Amazon for, it was based off of UK Arms, or not based off, but it was actually from UK Arms. Some people buy them at Hobbytron.com, and it was $54 with like $20 in tax. It was originally $119, and I doubt it's actually worth that much, but it's still pretty good. My battery is charging, so I'll have to put up a shooting test later. Uh, on to the sights. For the sights... For normal shooting and like CQB, this is it. And to change it, you just push it down, and then that's for like sniping. It's got a tiny. No, that's what she said. Jokes. It's got a tiny hole that you can see through. And to get to the hop up, you just pull down the charging handle, but you don't do this. You have to hold down the lever and pull it. And as you see, the hop up flies out. I'm pretty sure. This is more hop and this is less. I don't know. I'll check it out. If you know, then say in the comments. If For the people who watch my videos. This thing right here does absolutely nothing. To adjust the stock, you push this up and you can move it back, forward. I don't... There are four places. There's like middle, all the way back, three-fourths, and then like all the way in. I don't like to do all the way in because mine takes a lot of force to push out. I just stuck one of my bind my case it binder the whole the sling and it's it's really nice because it's case it. Anyway, when you get this gun, the sight will be all the way to the right. All you have to do is yeah, tw 
twist this knob and keep going. It'll start to move. It was hard for me to figure that out. Just kidding. Anyway, on to how to insert and not insert the battery. Not, nah, never mind. What you do is this thing right here. It's like a ring. You pull it back, and then you take this off. I have the battery hole or the battery connector through this hole, and so let me move that out of the way. And then you pull this off and pull the bottom one off. And on to the peck box, the fake peck box. To get open the battery, there's this thing right here. You'll have to literally yank it off. I put it in a bad position. I was going to put the M203 grenade launcher on it, but it, it's... I don't think it's really worth it. And I would like a foregrip. Yeah. I can't get rid of this right now. Well, you pry it open, and there's a little slot that you can stick the wire through, and you can connect it, and you can play airsoft. This shoots set like 300 FPS, I believe, which is okay. It's not the best, but it, it'll 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 work for now. And it's kind of hard to kind of hard for me to put these back in, not because I'm not strong, but it's because you have to like get it at a certain angle because you have to stick this in and then push it down it's annoying but you'll get used to it there's a little slot like this slot right there that tiny little slit whatever you want to call it and then there's like a little bar kind of thing sticking out and you have to stick that perfectly through there There we go. Now, put this down. And stick that in. And your gun is ready to go. Now, onto the selector switches for you have three set settings you have safe, semi, and auto. What I don't like is with semi, there's no like click indicating that you're on semi. I, I don't know. You might not care, but I do. I don't know why though. Well, this is a great gun. It's for like, if you're like a beginner, like this is technically my first AEG and I love it. Even though I haven't even shot it yet, but my cousin has this in, Pencil in Pennsylvania. That's where he lives. Um, he has this exact same gun and I got to shoot it and I loved it. And I was looking for AEGs and then I just saw this and I was like, well, that fits my budget. Let's go buy it. Anyway, yeah, you should definitely buy it. But my thing is, why is the high cap not as tall as the mid cap? That makes no sense. Um, well, to work the high cap, slide this up, feed BBs in through here, and then you keep winding up and winding up until you hear some kind of like tick. Kind of like, not this, but like a, you could tell that it's not the same. And if you realize, oh, I just winded up my high cap for nothing and everything's done. What you do is this little thing right here. You pull it. It, it takes a little bit for my gun. You pull it down and then you hold down and it'll reset the, it'll reset this, the winding or the crank. Wine and crank, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and that way, because if you keep the spring tightened, it's bad for it. Oh, and also on every single AEG you own. Um, if you're shooting on fully automatic and you run out and you're about to put your gun up, do not immediately set your gun up. What you want to do is you want to put it on semi. Even if you have to dry fire, dry fire a few shots on semi. That way your spring can get stretched out. That way it won't cramp together. Because when you put it on fully automatic, it cramps together. Waiting for you to... And then once you put it on semi, it stretches out. And then you... Take like... I'd, I'd just say 5 or 10 just to be safe. Anyway, out of all for its price, I think it's kind of worth it. Because of 
all the things you can do with it. You can put on it so many attachments, so much good stuff. I would totally recommend this to anyone who's like first AEG or maybe even second or third AEG. It matters. I didn't even care for M4s. I was looking for AKs and G36Cs and MP5s and MP90s. And I didn't find anything that I liked in my price range or anything that I really liked. And then I looked up M4s and M16s and this came up. So you never know. Oh, and shipping. This, I bought it on Friday or Thursday. And it said it was going to come in Monday. Just to tell you, today's Saturday. It came in Saturday morning. I'm very happy. I hope that yours comes in soon, too, if you get this, which you should. And this is... Oh, and I posted a picture on my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. It is King Addison James Smith. Follow me. I follow back. Just comment on my pictures. Oh, I'm from YouTube. And I'll follow you back. Alright, well, this is Beeman and Rules1234 signing off. See you guys later. Have a great day.